Between you and me, what is it that keeps you anchored there? Surely you want to step up, be brave and take on the world. But you don't. You may be suffering, but do not move a finger because you are in your comfort zone. Who knows what could happen if you face the anxiety, abandon your past and fight for what you've always dreamed of. If you can push through, and out of, your comfort zone, you may find that an exciting and new world awaits you. Want more reasons? Read on. Once you step out of your comfort zone, despite being afraid, you may see that it was no big deal. Feeling insecure in the face of change is natural. That fear provides a warning that the road may not be easy. It becomes a problem when fear immobilizes you. The first step is to start recognizing what scares you is the uncertainty. It's important to approach it with a positive mentality. If you fall from time to time, you will grow as a person. As you continue to move forward, over time, you'll look back and be proud of yourself. Your personal development begins here. Identify what will motivate you and what you want to change. Take the first step toward that. Isn't it worth it? Leaving the comfort zone stimulates creativity to meet new possibilities and break what is routine. A study published in Applied Cognitive Psychology, 2012, showed that students who spent a semester outside their country had higher scores on two tests of creativity than those students who had stayed in their home country. Leaving your comfort zone and taking steps to achieve your goals will have positive effects on your self-efficacy beliefs, or confidence. This concept was initially introduced by Albert Bandura, a psychologist who developed social learning theory, which explains the regulation of motivation and human action. Therefore, as you push out of your comfort zone and test yourself, you will see how mastering certain skills will increase your confidence. A positive sense of self-efficacy is associated with positive thoughts and aspirations, less stress and anxiety. Nothing bad about that. When we are young, we are more likely to take risks. As we get older, we begin to fear failure. How do we push though this learned helplessness and paralysis? Do you know the analysis paralysis? This fear takes a serious emotional toll on us unless we change the way we think. Leaving your comfort zone allows you to have new experiences and to engage in activities that you haven't before, all while opening you up to meet new people. If you can try this, you are open to all sorts of possibilities you may not have thought possible. There is an old phrase, life begins at the end of your comfort zone, which is often credited to Neil Donald Walsh. Maybe that's true and it's time to start living the life you want. Using these tips, you just might get there. In his book Auto Renew, the writer John Gardner says, we paid a heavy price for our failures and this is a major obstacle to our growth. This causes our personality to not develop and does not allow the exploration and experimentation of our world. There is no learning without some difficulty. If you want to keep growing, you must overcome the fear of failure. On the other hand, another study found that the personality trait of open to experience, one of the big five, is the best predictor of creative achievement. This personality trait is characteristic of individuals who tend to take risks. They challenge themselves or try new things constantly. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, turn on notification bell on, so that way, you'll be notified for more content. As always, thank you for watching.